Oh, good morning. Welcome back to Colonia and the old Polish farm. It's uh, August too, the middle of August. Uh, playing here on three day months on Colonia. Uh, six o'clock in the morning. We got a lot of things we need to get done today. Uh, so I want to maximize the daylight, even though I may end up working off camera and get some coffee here. Still, uh, Still working on the Juan Valdez Balenciado, which is what I uh, transitioned to when the uh, bag of smooth silencer, silencer smooth from Black Rifle Coffee Company got used up. Um, let's see, we uh, we bought some land yesterday, ended up taken out a loan so we've got uh, 10,000 euro loan right now which I'm not happy about but well sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do we... I never used to take loans but uh, playing on Zilanka I found that loans could be rather useful when you want to do something so Helps keep the keep things moving along, certainly. Oh. I know we have enough milk to be able to take up, so we're gonna do that, but why don't we take a look here at the uh, animal menu here with the cows. So here we are. Um, I need to take a look at the reproduction. We got enough milk. There's plenty of room to bring straw in, so I think we'll use the loading wagon with the uh, field that had been oats up here behind the farm. They could use some feed, but I'm not sure I want to get to uh, that. Uh, maybe I'll do it off camera. Let me pop up here the chickens. Yeah, they're almost out of food. All right, so I want to look at the reproduction of the cows. 10, 5, 77, wait. Oh, yeah, okay. Um... 70 okay not as much of a hurry as i thought it was 70 percent's the nearest one and how are we doing over at the other one they could use food but they're good on straw all right <clears throat> so first things first we're gonna need to get milk up to the dairy but let's get the chickens fed before too much more time passes uh Get the T25 out. All right. So, what I need to do pull the bucket underneath the pipe here. Unfortunately, it's going to put more in here than the chickens will be able to eat, I think. Had it kind of uh, wheat, I guess, right? Do we have anything else? No, wheat it is. Oh, well, 700. Maybe they'll take it all. It'd be nice if they would. Got chickens, got food for you. Come on now, look out. Get out the way. be nice if they would take it all without my having to try and put it back in the silo and they didn't <laughs> almost all but 32 liters okay that's not too bad What we'll do is we'll dump it on the ground here. Oh, 
go grab the shovel. It's not the way to use the shovel, is it? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Let's scoop it up. Put it back in the silo. Seems to take an inordinate amount of time to empty out. But, alright. Oops. Having trouble picking it up there. <clears throat> Chickens are taken care of. I hope we have some pallets up at the dairy. So we can make a little bit of money this morning. Though so I need fuel. Probably some maintenance wouldn't hurt either. take care of the milk first we'll come back we'll do the maintenance and we'll go get some fuel did I mention I, I accepted a contract <laughs> I probably I might have I don't know I accepted a contract to do an oat harvest since we're already all set up for oats and it's up over by the other farm it's a pretty good sized field it'll pay a little bit we'll we'll do some other things first though I said there's a lot to do. This grass needs to be cut. Uh, and this straw needs to be collected off this field up here. I don't know if we need to start prepping these fields. I don't know. I, I got to think about what I want to put back in them. But I'll probably put winter wheat in the field where the corn is now, so I'm not sure what we'll do with the other ones. There are bailing contracts, which is, that's like the key when you want to try and make money. One pallet, that's not good. I guess we'll hold off till we get some more here. Let's make sure this is running. Uh, butter and cheese. We're not really close to getting either one of those, so I guess no products to market this morning. That's not great. But that's the reality of our day today.
So we'll go put the trailer away. Let's do a little work on the uh, 7745 turbo. And we'll go get some fuel. <coughs> Drop that off. Oh, come on. I don't know what's going on with this guy lately. I'm having a heck of a time getting the getting the repair to show up sometimes about now probably nothing to do with the mod it's probably more to do with me I don't know come on Supposed to just point the latches. There we go. 417. Yeah. All right, let me go get the fuel. Yeah, we're pretty low. Really low. All these fields that need to be harvested, but I don't know. Lots of little ones. What I hate about this intersection is this tractor does not like to get going very easily. Look how early I pulled out in front of that yellow car and I just couldn't get going. <laughs> Eight euros for fuel. Since we're up here, let's run by the dealership. We got 5,000 euros. Although, we have a $10,000 loan principal. Something I want to get. 
Um, probably not the wisest thing in the world, but it'll be fun to use. It'll probably be longer. Hi, good morning. Is this the used equipment sheet? Let me see what you got. Uh, just a, a head for a, a forage harvester portrait. All right. So this is it, the bale conveyor belt. We can use this to put the bales up into the loft so we don't have to toss them all up there. I don't know if it'll help make it any faster. We're going to leave it this color because to change it, it would cost us a thousand euros, basically double the price of it to change the color. So we're not going to do that. There we go. We bought that thousand euros. Thanks. So this is it. I've kind of seen it in action a little bit in Mr. CLAP's uh, mod review, but I think, I think it'll work good for us. And we have lots of bales to move, which actually might end up being a bit of a problem. Because of all the baling that we've done, we're probably up around the bale limit. All those bales over in the fields by the new farm, the second farm, all those bales, probably about a hundred of them. Let's get this. Over to the farm, second farm. And we'll grab the uh, loading wagon while we're over there. Like I said, there's a lot of work to be done, and we're going to be pretty busy. Um, but I don't know what. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to try and fit it all in here. As usual, we're a almost a third of the way into the episode and we haven't even done anything yet <laughs> seems like it's always the case this is the cornfield we'd like to buy but we don't certainly don't have the money for it this is the oat field that we bought yesterday at the beginning of august and uh oh looks like i missed one Ooh, i could grab it i suppose can be our test bale. <laughs> I tried to pick up all the bales out of the field. Obviously I missed one hay bale. gate open. So what I understand about this uh, particular bale conveyor is it doesn't steer well so you need to be kind of straight on with where you want to go if you're going to need to move it. So we'll just come straight back to here. I'll take this off just 
so it doesn't go flying up before we actually get it adjusted. Can I do anything with it attached? Let's see. Pull up the help. Yep. Yeah, see, this will work real well, I think. So here's what I'm wondering, okay? So, it says start engine. I don't see an engine on it. And how is it supposed to work? I don't know. So we'll go ahead and we'll detach it. And we'll pull forward here. So we can enter this one. What can we do? Now that we're in it, we can unfold. Okay. What does... Oh. <laughs> what does unfold do? Gotta start the engine first. Okay. Start the engine. Okay. Unfold. And then turn it on. Okay. Let's turn it off. So what did unfold? Oh, I got rid of the uh, hitch. Okay. Can we open this? Good. Didn't hit it. So here's all the bales. These are all the hay bales that I got. Uh, so what? 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. 12 times 4, 48. Plus 4, 52. Plus another 4, 56. And then here's all the straw bales uh, over here. So here's what, here's what we can do, and this is why I kind of got this, is to, to see how this will work out. Uh, I don't think it'll be any quicker than uh, tossing them up there, but something new and different to try. So we got this one here, we'll just use it, see what happens. Okay, so enter. Uh, turn on and get out of it again. Grab our bail. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how that's going to be really any easier or better. <laughs> this would be great for multiplayer. Because uh, one guy could... You know, load the bales down below. And the other one up here. But just being one person... It's not going to be ideal. So we'll get rid of the uh, help menu there. Oh, uh, we got weather coming. When's that going to be? Oh, man. <laughs> Throw a wrinkle in the system. Let's see. Did I open the... Yeah. 
I want to come through, gonna grab the loading wagon and head back to the uh, to the other farm. I don't know, it's kind of cool. It's an expense we didn't really need to make, but you know, I like I like to use the different equipment. Let me check the weather here quick. Radio. So it looks like it's going to be clear and then it's going to rain all afternoon. Oh, that's not great. That's not good at all. We better go get that straw out of that field before it gets wet and then we'll need to get on that harvest before it rains. And then maybe, I don't know, once it starts raining, we can... I don't want to move the bales in the rain either. Get around the tree here. I didn't, I didn't do that. It looks like I bumped it, but I didn't. All right, so let's get through here. We'll grab the loading wagon. Hustle back to the other farm. Get to that oat straw and get it out of that field before it starts raining. Drop it down. I like a good loading wagon, but the problem is with the loading wagon or just loose straw in general is it's just so much easier to keep it in bales because the bales are fairly large, but yeah. oh, I think I talked the other day about uh, hay stacks or straw stacks. Does anybody remember that? Or was that an FS-19 mod? I could have swore it was an FS-22, but I went looking for it, and I couldn't find it. Because I seem to remember thinking I was going to try and use it on here, and what I didn't like was it just wasn't um, very large in the sense that, you know, it only held, like, 10,000 liters or something. Yeah, it was like the equivalent of a couple of straw bales or hay bales. So I was like, eh, I don't see the value in doing that. I don't know if you remember way back when we first started uh, here on the Polish farm, but we used like a what was it like a hay 
I don't even know what it was called. It's like a hay fork that we put on the back of the tractor to collect the hay and we just made a big pile of it. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to... Put this into our uh, cow barn here. Hopefully, I got enough room to get in there with the feed mixer back there. Get the trigger to come up. There we go. Good. Oh man. I was hoping it would take all of it and I'd be able to get like another one. No such luck. What do we got? So it only holds 20,000. <sighs> okay, well, it's full now. We'll fill this up again. We'll store it in the shed here since the trailers are all over at the other place. And then we'll, I guess we'll have to get up here and bail the rest of them. That's something I look forward to. So, yeah, we're, we're going to be full here pretty quick. Alright, so that's full. So when we're looking at the forecast, we had rain in the forecast for the foreseeable future. At least it's going to rain every day. That's not great. Let's see. Or should I put it in the middle one? Actually, let's put it in the middle one. That way I can get that manure spreader if I need to. This is what we were using before to collect the hay. What's it called? Uh, don't remember. <laughs> it's in the description down below. Cousin Bartholomew's had it at the beginning. It was one of his pieces of equipment. Alright, this should fit in here, barely, I think. Yeah. 
grab the... I gotta get this straw bale before it starts raining. But then I'm not gonna be able to get that harvest done, I don't think. But I can't leave the straw loose in the field because otherwise it's just gonna get all wet. <sighs> can't win. Okay, I was afraid that was going to happen. We've hit the bail count. Which means we can't do a bailing contract. How do I get out of this? I don't know. How many bells do I have here? I don't have a lot. It's a problem with uh, doing small square bales. <laughs> that straw is going to be trash, isn't it? That brick. <laughs> Can't fly away out here.
I guess. I don't know what it can do really about the bales. Mix up some total mix ration, we'll get rid of some of them, but that was a little bold. I don't know what it can do about it. I think it's this field right here. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Gonna be a train coming by. Everything's in the way now. It's in the way. <laughs> oh, this will be tricky. No, that's not going to work. The T25, or the T30, rather. I could do is I could sell the bales, but I want the bales. <laughs> uh, but if I can't, if I have no bale limit, I can't do a bailing contract and I can't make money. Uh, it's a dilemma. Am I gonna have enough room to maneuver around with that trailer in here still? Open so. The headers are just too big to uh, fit through. Those doors are, they're maybe not too big, but they're not small enough to make it easy. <laughs> How about that? That might be a more accurate description. All right, so. Let me put this back inside.
and then I can go get start that harvest.
Okay, I think I'm going to be able to pull it off. I, I thought I was going to fill the grain tank, but I think I'll make it to the end of the field. Um, I came up with an idea on how to maybe not solve the problem with the uh, bail limit, but I think I might be able to at least figure out a way to keep making some bales, and that is to Just in time. It's going to start raining right now. Yep. Hey. Let's get this off loaded and get the grain inside. Before it gets wet. I can close that. It's okay. So what I think I can do is fill the second cow barn, fill the feed with hay. And then I, I'm not losing anything. So if I fill that with hay, should be able to make some more bales. I wish I had a cover for this truck, so we'll just get, try and get it inside. for the rest of the day now. Let's get this inside. I think it's going to PGR, but we'll just try and get to our own farm here. Get it inside, get it out of the weather. quickly as we can. I can pull this forward. As far as I can. Might be an upper end. Damn. Uh, 
Not sure what that was. It's in the, the greens out of there, so let's see. So I think what I'll do is I'll just look here real quick. So look how the feed is at 17,249. It's like about half, so it means it'll take that much again. And if the bales are 600 each, that's like 20 bales I can put in there, no problem. So yeah, I think I think we'll be all right. Anyway, yeah, I think I think that's where we're gonna call it. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me here in Colony at the old Polish farm. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And if you don't subscribe yet, why not? It don't cost nothing. Uh, we'll see you next time.